Northeast engineers have pioneered a pay-as-you-drive device which they claim could help congestion on the region's roads. The wireless system, nicknamed Smart Dust, is being developed at Newcastle University. Transport Minister Stephen Ladyman has been visiting the research team who've already helped to set up road charging in London and Durham. Here's Karen Thomas. Every day, almost 100,000 car journeys begin and end in the northeast. The number of licensed vehicles has reached a million. And the situation is getting worse. In the next 20 years, car ownership in the northeast is set to increase by 50%. But experts at Newcastle University are working on a system that could change the way we travel. This pay-as-you-drive device can calculate future road prices to force us to rethink when and where we drive. Well, we've tried almost every other measure to reduce uh, traffic demand and congestion, uh, and they've worked to some extent. But really, I think road pricing, as has been shown in places like London and Singapore, can, can actually affect how much people choose to use their car and actually reduce congestion. For example, in London, when they introduce road user charging, they reduce traffic in the peak period by about 20%. A network of wireless sensors communicate with the onboard device. Eventually they'll shrink to tiny proportions, hence the system's name, Smart Dust. During our journey, the sensors pick up carbon emissions. The red areas worn will face higher rates because of the traffic. And there's even a handy early warning system for unseen hazards. It can be used for measuring vehicle use, how far the vehicles are travelling, how much emissions they're giving out, which could be used for road user charging. And by giving little wireless devices to people like uh, uh, young children, you can warn drivers that there are vulnerable users in the, around the network and get them to reduce their speed. Environmentalists have welcomed the scheme, but say they're disappointed at Transport Minister Stephen Ladyman's announcement this week that road charges could be used to build more roads. The government needs to get its act together. It needs to have a proper coordinated approach. We need proper policies that reduce the amount of carbon dioxide that's been released into the atmosphere. Otherwise, we won't meet our climate change targets. Do we need more roads? Probably not, and, probably, and certainly not more, a lot more vehicles. The government's critics insist it isn't acting quickly enough. Technology is being developed to deal with the problem, but now it's up to the transport department to act. So will they? Well, we can go over to Karen Thomas at Newcastle University. Karen. Well, Transport Minister Stephen Ladyman has been trying out the equipment we've just seen in that report. So what did you think of it? Fascinating. Um, intelligent transport systems are going to be absolutely vital to making the best use of the uh, transport capacity that we've got in the future. And this sort of innovative thinking that's being done here at the university is um, absolutely mind-blowing and it's really where we're going to have to go in the future if we're going to uh, deal with problems like congestion and climate change. Now, environmental groups say you really have to get your act together. Uh, earlier this week, you announced that the proceeds from road charging road tolls would build new roads. Well, what we said was that the proceeds from road charging uh, could be used for investments in transport. And in fact, that was uh, uh, something that the Chamber of Commerce um, said in their report that, that that would be necessary if we were going to win support for road pricing. But what we've also said is that road pricing when it goes national would be a different way of paying for using the road. So we'd shift from the existing types of road taxes that you pay to new types of road taxes. But the, if we decide to put any of the revenue it raises back into transport systems, they could go on all manner of transport systems. They could go on the railways, on buses, on roads. That's part of the debate we want to have with the people of this country to get them interested in road pricing. Debate's all very well, but uh, your critics say you're taking far too long and we simply don't have that time. Well, I'm afraid critics need to recognise the reality of the situation. We have to win over the public. You know, I go around this country talking to experts all over the place and they tell me road pricing is the answer, but I still find too few members of the public who agree with them. We've announced the world's first renewable transport fuel obligation for cutting CO2 emissions from uh, road fuel in the future. We've done a tremendous amount, but none of it will work in the long term without demand management of some form being put in place. And so we've got to win the support of the public for demand management and road pricing. Stephen Ladyman, thank you very much. And road pricing could be brought in around the year 2015. 
So is the answer more road building or should we tackle the amount of traffic on our roads with things like tolls? Tell us what you think. Email us at uh, ITV. Dot, sorry, let me start that again. NET at ITV.com or text TTTV and your comment to 6332. And we look forward to hearing from you.